I am here at the Mutiny Information Cafe where everything is wild and bizarre and they've got colorful posters all around. Mr. Frankenstein, they've got hi-fi records here, vinyl, books, comics, magazines, uh, pinball machines over here. Let's check out the pinball machines Attack from Mars. Oh, wait a second. We've got a little display up here. There's a nice mannequin, the little leg with the lampshade. And there's the Mutiny logo. Check her out. She's got her mask on. She's being good. I don't have a mask on because it's not required anymore. So she's not gonna wear that stupid thing. But she's got her little mask on, little punk lady. Check out the bod here. She's all adorned. She's got the big heart shining. Clutch in there groping her with a skeleton. I love it. There's her, got her pierced navel. And uh, oh my God, we're getting a little graphic here. I don't know if this will post on YouTube or not. For kids, this will not be for underage kids. <laughs> Teenagers, I guess they're okay. But look, she's not even wearing any shoes. She's a hippie. Uh, it's a great store. I love the Mutiny Information Cafe. They got the pinball league thing going. Back here, sometimes they have some art going on, performance art. So that's pretty cool when they do that. It's an anti-fascist world today, right? Maryland, lovely Maryland. You got your little ghouls and demons up there. There's lovely Elvira. She's got a game. I bought some DVDs. I bought a bunch of them. So they're holding them for me up there at the counter. Uh, those are cool. And uh, yeah, you got to love this store. So if you're ever in Denver, I recommend come on down to the Mutiny Information Cafe. There's a piano over there. Let's go check it out. I don't play the piano, but I might hit a few keys. This is how I learned to type on an Underwood typewriter, uh, similar to that one. Wasn't much, that's an Underwood, yeah. Those are the old classics. That's wrong. Oh well, I was trying to play chopstick, but I'm not doing a very good job, am I? We love to get skulls all around. Screaming happy skulls. You got one inside your head, believe it or not. Yeah, you've got to make peace with death while you're alive. So when you get to your end date, whenever that is, the termination date, expiration date for a human, that you can meet it with joy and peace. You won't be screaming, you'd be like that, a happy skull. Happy to say I had a good, happy life, and you'd be ready to chuck it and go on to the next life, whatever it is. See that guy up there, he don't care. He's going to Valhalla, that's the home of the gods. Let's see what kind of books we got in here. Fighting disease, well, huh, we know about that in the last year, don't we? Gun love, people are stocking up on their guns today. How about Frank Herbert's Dune? There's a good one, see my eye just catches these books. Uh, this is quite a library here of books, used books mostly, all, all used really. And uh, they've got a book fair coming up in New Orleans, but we're here in Denver, so a little bit of a travel for us. You think you look stupid here with the mask under your nose? That's how I wore it the whole time. I hardly ever put it over my nose. And I can't believe it's America today, knowing what's been going on. It's been insane. So, okay, we're not gonna do the photo thing today, I don't think. Lots of people have done that before, obviously. But uh, yeah, that's it for the Mutiny Information Cafe today. Let's give you a little shot there of the Misfits. That's a cool punk band. There's some nice artwork here for sale, or you can just view it here in the store. And uh, you got your guy over there, he's a communist. He's not really a communist, he looks like he is, but it's, it's not a communist symbol, so I don't really know what it is. But they got all kinds of good, like I say, comic books and whatnot here. And uh, I don't think I'll get any today, but they've got Playboys over here to buy. There's your Simpsons guy. And they got a donation here going to charity for kids about some acid vomit. There's one for you. Uh, a little dinosaur up there. And there's the disposable skateboard fiber. So, yeah, about Thieves World. Top secret. Ooh, looks like a spy mission. You got lots of buttons over here for people that have their buttons. And uh, I don't know what that means. There's Dune again, it keeps popping up. Dune, the movie's out, so everybody wants to read it. This was a great movie, one of my favorite movies uh, last year or two years ago. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Quentin Tarantino. I checked that book out. I don't know if I want to get the book, but uh, the movie was fabulous. And there you go, The Idiots. I like that. That might be one to, for me to, to buy if I can. I don't know if they have that for sale. That'd be a good bumper sticker to put on today. And here you go, here's a puzzle. What do we got? Something I minus fly 
plus salt equals, I'll let you figure that out, puzzle three, whatever that might be. And here's a few albums. We got Overkill, I never heard of them. They look pretty gnarly, don't they? <laughs> There's Fast Eddie. Uh, you've all heard of them, right? They're number one with a bullet. Here's how the West was won, soundtrack. That was a movie. And then you got Piss and Vinegar. That's always good on your salad, your Caesar salad. Just remember folks, yes you can. You can achieve whatever you can conceive and believe. The Colorado crew says so. And uh, I'm gonna wrap it up here with a little skull shot for you. And uh, we're gonna move on down the road here for our psychedelic tour. So uh, y'all be well, have fun. Come down to the mutiny sometime. It's always a good time. You can get espresso, you can get kombucha, you can get anything you want. You can even get, uh, well, I don't want to say, but yeah, you can have a good time in here if nothing else. So be well, my friends.